Movies we love to hate. Bastard out of Carolina. I think every parent should see this movie at least once. This movie is about a little girl named Ruth Ann, a.k.a. Bone. Her family named her Bone because when she was born, she was no bigger than a knuckle bone. And Bone considers herself a bastard because she doesn't have a father. Annie is Bone's mother. Annie is ashamed that she doesn't have a husband and Bone doesn't have a father. She is very upset that on Bone's birth certificate, it says illegitimate where the father's name would be. So Annie wants to find a good husband and a good father for her child. So Annie meets and falls in love with this guy. They start dating, they get pregnant, and get married. He is a great husband and a great father. He loves her daughter. But sadly, as soon as they have their baby, he gets killed in a car wreck. So now, again, Annie's worst fears have come true. She doesn't have a husband, and now neither of her children have a father. And she has to move back home and depend on her family for support, which she really hates. So a few years go by. Annie's brother introduces her to a man named Glenn that he works with. Annie and Glenn hit it off very quickly. Glenn begins to love bomb Annie, and he sweeps her right off her feet. And they fall in love pretty quickly. So before long, she's pregnant and married again. And she's really hoping that this time it'll last. Glenn really loves her and shows her a lot of affection. And he really seems to love her children. But everything drastically changes on the night Annie gives birth. So while Annie's giving birth, Glenn waits out in the parking lot with his two stepdaughters. He is literally waiting on his baby to be born. When he essays Bone in the car while her little sister sleeps in the back seat. Now Bone is very young. She does not understand what just happened, but she knows it's wrong. She is now afraid of Glenn and pulls away from him. So after the attack, Glenn finds out Annie had a stillborn and won't be able to have more children. Glenn is very upset because Annie will not be able to give him a son. So Glenn packs the family up and moves them away from Annie's family. And now he has them isolated in another town all alone. One day, Glenn sees Bone looking at a picture. The picture was of Bone and her previous stepfather who she loved dearly. Glenn becomes jealous and rips the picture up and throws it down. Bone becomes very upset and she grabs the pieces and runs off. Annie asks Glenn what's wrong with her and he lies and says she's just very sensitive. But Annie doesn't realize her daughter has become a target. So Glenn begins taking his anger out on Bone. Every little thing that goes wrong or doesn't go his way, he blames on her. And Glenn also demands that Bone call him daddy, but she refuses. So he becomes even more angry with her and targets her even more. Glenn is now finding any reason he can to punish Bone. And every time Annie asks him what did she do wrong, he'll lie and say that Bone cursed him out or she called him a bad name. And Annie just sees it as he's a good father. He cares about Bone. But his abuse becomes a trend and his spankings turn into beatings. So Annie decides to send Bone to live with her aunt who is sick and dying of cancer. Now Bone loves this because she and her aunt are very close. They spend every day singing and dancing. They spend a lot of time together. For a couple of months, Bone is at peace. But all good things must come to an end. And Bone has to come back to Glenn and Annie's house where they are dirt poor and starving. These kids are so hungry, they go out looking for bottles and can tabs to try to make money to eat. Because Glenn refuses to get a job or keep a job to provide for his family. Now this makes Annie mad and she gets so upset with Glenn that she says, You know what? F it. I'll go get a job. I'll provide for my family because I'm not going to have my girls starve the way I did when I was a child. But that means Glenn is left at home with the kids alone. And now he has Bone isolated. And now Glenn is beating Bone every day. At one point, Annie even asks Bone, what did you do to make him so angry? And Bone doesn't even recognize her mother anymore because now she's blaming her for this abuse. So one night, Bone wakes up in excruciating pain. The doctors are very alarmed because Bone has been severely injured. So the doctor asks Annie, what have you been doing to this child? Her tailbone has been broken. Annie plays dumb and acts like she doesn't know what he's talking about. And the doctor says he's going to report her to the police. So Annie quickly scoops up Bone and they leave the hospital. Annie confronts Glenn about the injuries and he promises he'll never do it again. He loves Bone so much. Of course, Annie believes him and she stays with him. But the beatings would only get worse. So Bone's aunt ends up dying of cancer and the whole family comes together to celebrate her life. Bone's uncle slips her a little bit of moonshine in honor of her aunt's memory and Bone gets tipsy. I mean, she is ripped. So Bone staggers and makes her way to the bathroom where her other aunt walks in on her and realizes Bone can't even sit down on the toilet properly. So the aunt calls all the men into the house to see Bone's injuries. And we just know it's about to go down. And it does. They beat the brakes off Glenn. Best part of the whole movie. Bone stays behind at her aunt's house. And for a while, things are going great for Bone. She's healing and she's happy. She's finally getting some peace. That is, until one day when Glenn shows up alone. Now, Bone's aunt has gone to town for supplies and left Bone at home alone. And Glenn says Annie has left him because Bone isn't there. Now, Bone remains polite, but she absolutely refuses to go home with him. She even apologizes for her mother leaving him. But we can kind of see in Glenn's eyes, he's not after her mother. We're now getting the idea that Glenn is a predator. And something bad is about to happen. Glenn tells Bone if she doesn't come home, he will unalive her. 
Glenn then attacks Bone in the worst way. He R-words Bone in her aunt's house. Within a few minutes of the attack, Annie shows up and hits Glenn in the head with a vase. So we're thinking, okay, Annie has caught him red-handed R-wording her daughter. She's going to finally defend her daughter, right? Wrong. When Annie tries to leave to take Bone to the hospital, Glenn starts banging his head on the car door. Annie starts praying and screaming out loud, help me, Lord, help me. What should I do? Annie simultaneously holds Glenn and her daughter at the same time, comforting both of them. That scene really shows you just how selfish Annie is. Annie refuses to put her child first, even when her daughter has been brutally injured by her stepfather. This scene will make you scream. The bone was then left and raised by her aunt. Bone was fine with this. She was just glad to finally be away from this monster. Now, of course, I had to leave out a lot of details. If you are a single mother, I suggest you watch this movie.